Hey there guys, welcome to my kitchen. Uh, I suspect a few of us are spending a little bit more time in the kitchen than uh, we'd like to, uh, given all the current restrictions. But I thought I'd take this opportunity to go over one of my favorite recipes for tuna steaks, and this is gonna be uh, seared tuna steaks in a tangy mustard sauce. This is a very simple recipe to do that requires a minimal amount of ingredients and it comes together really fast. So the first thing you need is a one pound of uh, albacore tuna loin. This can be frozen or fresh. Obviously fresh is a little bit better, but given that it's only seasonally available in the Northwest, this is what I'm going with is some frozen ones. Um, you need some sea salt. You need Dijon mustard. You need sweet cooking mirin sauce. That's a Japanese cooking sauce. It's very good. You're gonna need two tablespoons of butter and then some canola oil, and that is it. So this is very simple to do, and I'm gonna show you how to do this uh, real quick. So the first thing you wanna do is take your tuna loin and cut it into steaks that are about one and a half inches to two inches in thickness. In the end of the loin, you can kind of leave as a medallion. Go ahead and put these in a bowl. And then you're going to want to sprinkle these with uh, about two teaspoons of sea salt. And mix that up. Okay, next you're going to want to take about two tablespoons of canola oil and pour it over your steaks. You can be very approximate here, it doesn't need to be exact. And then just mix up those steaks. Let them get very coated in oil. And then let them rest and come to room temperature for about three to five minutes. Okay, so you wanna heat a pan nonstick uh, on medium high heat. You don't need to put any oil down because you got plenty of oil on your steaks and go ahead and place them on the pan. Now you'll want to grill them for one to two minutes if you like a pink center like I do, but my wife likes them cooked all the way through, so I'll grill them on the first side for three to four minutes, and then I'll flip them and do another one to two minutes uh, for the rare ones and another two to three minutes for the ones that are cooked thoroughly through. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move the steaks that are medium rare to rare that I enjoy off of the heat and put them onto a plate. Okay, these are the well done steaks that my wife enjoys. I'm gonna go ahead and take them off. I'm going to leave the, the stove at medium high heat and I'm going to deglaze this with a half cup of mirin. So make sure you go through and scrub off all the little tuna bits that got stuck on there. You're just trying to free up all these proteins and flavor in here. We're gonna cook this down for about 60 seconds. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and add two tablespoons of butter and melt that into the mirin. And now we're gonna cook that butter until it starts to turn a little bit tan, but not dark brown. All right, now that we got that nice golden tan color, we're going to put in two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. And this is just approximate. And stir that in. Be sure and turn down your heat now to medium while you stir that in. And after about 30 to 40 seconds, go ahead and turn off your heat and use the residual heat to keep mixing in the mustard. It's ready to be poured on top of your tuna steaks. Now, I like to serve this with ginger carrot rice, which I will include a recipe for. 
and something pickled uh, or fermented. So we have our garden dilly beans, which I'll often uh, put on here, but today I'm gonna go with some homemade kimchi that I've been fermenting in the kitchen this past week uh, for a little bit of spice and color. And there you have it, a delicious meal of albacore seared tuna steaks in a spicy brown mustard sauce, kimchi, and ginger carrot rice. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe for more great content, and hopefully you're enjoying your catch in the kitchen. I'll see you guys next time, either in the kitchen or out on the water. Bye.